but I'm so glad to hear that you're for transparency in the media. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what's going on and, and what I've noticed since we decided to run, since I decided to run for governor, mm -hmm. um, the groundswell of grassroots support I've never seen anything like this, and I've been covering politics in Arizona for 27 years. So impressive. People who've never been political I came out to our rally. They're, they're grabbing me by the arm and saying, please save this state. We, we've got to get it in the right hands in 22. We need you to save this state. People are ready to stand up. They're ready to get involved. In three or four weeks, we've had about 4,000 volunteers sign up. Incredible. Wow. Incredible. Um, 1,800 donors and 92 percent of our donors have never given to a political campaign before they've never donated before people are fed up and i always say that the left doesn't realize that they have they have unleashed a sleeping giant and that mm -hmm. sleeping giant is pissed off moms and fed up dads and if you've ever been a parent you know how exhausting that job is you're busy you're working you're taking care of your kids and now you're watching your country be torn apart and you're saying I guess I got to stand up and save it. And they are standing up. And I think the left doesn't know what's coming because Arizonans are fed up and they're ready to fight back. And the pendulum is going to come back. It will. But it's going to come back as a wrecking ball. But people have to realize what's being done to our country right now. And I think the problem is that a lot of people are not inconvenienced enough by what's going on. But soon enough, they will. With this Under this administration, we have a Democrat presidency, a Democrat Congress, a Democrat-controlled Senate. Yep. So as soon enough, these policies are going to be implemented across the country. And people are going to want to fight back. So this is the beginning of a massive movement. We're and they don't it. know what's coming yet. Yeah. I have one more question for you. Okay. The border. What do you, how do you, where are you on the border crisis? What can you do to help Arizonans? I think we need to finish the wall. We have roughly 20 or so miles left in Arizona and where there's a will, there's a way. We need to take back control of our border. I was down on the border and within, within minutes of arriving, people came over. I, I witnessed people come across the border. And not only are people coming across the border, we are seeing millions of, uh, 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 fentanyl pills coming across the border. Yes. I was just down next to one of the largest, uh, most uh, prolific, unfortunately, drug channels that comes up from Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's it's in Pinal County, and it comes right up into Pinal County, which is about, uh, in this area that I was, it's about an hour south of Phoenix. Okay. And in 2018, they seized zero fentanyl pills. Of course, 2018, President Trump had pretty much had his policy in place and and it was a really effective policy mm -hmm. this year they're estimating in this area they will seize 500,000 half a million fentanyl pills Donald Trump was helpful in bringing the opioid crisis at least where we watched it come down we watched right. it lower as far as Pre deaths yes yeah. and now we're gonna see a huge spike in opioid overdoses and deaths and I think we're gonna see that surge as well I don't know what Joe Biden is thinking but this is not a man who's putting America first. The cartels, the criminal cartels are in control of our border. Unfortunately, America is not in control of our border. So I will do everything in my power, everything in my power to finish that wall. And I think we could get private donations to finish it. We, we have, can. I was down there, the supplies are there. Uh, all of the, uh, the metal uh, pieces that would build the wall are there. They're just sitting there rusting and they need to be finished. It needs to be finished. I'm so glad to hear you bring up the opioid crisis and, and what can happen to Americans if we just allow this massive, this unbelievable amount of fentanyl to be run across our border. It's crazy that the current administration doesn't even care, but I'm so glad that people like you are stepping up in this society. And you, you could have stayed in media, you could have continued covering politics, but now you're getting into politics because you're answering that call to duty. So. Well, I left the media. I left a lot of money on the table. I've been uh, working at the local station. I'd worked in Phoenix for 27 years, but at one station for 22, and we were number one pretty much that whole time. And so we were, we were a powerhouse, and I walked away from a lot of money because I was just not willing to do an unethical, immoral job. And now I'm really in this to help Arizona. My only special interest are the people of Arizona. I'm not doing this for fame. I've already had that. I'm not doing it for money because there's no money in politics. If you're honest, there's no money. When you get the corrupt ones in, they right. find a way to make money. I am doing this purely for my love for Arizona and the people of Arizona. And we just can't afford to let one of these progressives win because we will become California 2.0 and, and it scares the hell out of me. 
what will happen if we don't win in 22 and we end up with a Democrat who, frankly, the ones who are running in Arizona, they're socialists, and I'm not willing to let my state go without a fight. It's a growing trend in the West. We have the Democrat a socialist of, of Nevada winning power positions in the Democrat Party. Same thing in California. It's unreal. We can't let Arizona be taken. It's we have to hold the line. Arizona is a, the line. is a red state. I do believe that still. I believe that too. And if you're watching this, and I know that you're broadcast all over the world, but if you're watching this in the United States, what happens in Arizona affects every single state. With our border being porous right now and Joe Biden's policies being uh, what they are, which are non-existent, mm -hmm. we are watching what happens in Arizona affect every single state. So I'm hoping that if you watch this, if you like what you're hearing, you will go to my website, carrylake.com, K-A-R-I-L-A-K-E.com. Take a look where I stand on the issues, make a donation, uh, even a five or $10 donation will go a long way toward pushing back against these rhinos and establishment contenders that I'm running against. And we can't afford to have somebody who's a rhino who's going to get in there and continue along the way that our current governor is. We need someone who's very strong and a strong conservative and willing to fight back for the people of Arizona. And that's you. You're tough. So I am I tough. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on and Thanks best of luck in the race. Thanks. Thank you.